Hi, today I'm going to compare Gerber Center Drive and the Leatherman Wave. I wonder if you saw Gerber Center Drive's ad, Wave Goodbye, or something like that. It seems to be alluding to the Leatherman Wave. Okay, let's compare those two. At a quick glance, just looking at the two, they're roughly the same size. However, the Gerber Center Drive is bigger. Starting with the Gerber Center Drive, it measures 4.7 inches, although the way I measured it, it was 4.5, but they state 4.7. It weighs 9.5 ounces. Moving over to the Wave, it measures roughly 4 inches and weighs in at 8.5 ounces. When you compare the two side by side, uh, it's very obvious that the Center Drive is a little bit more bulkier or heftier. It, that's a lot of airspace in there. Going back to the Gerber Center Drive, note the open structure of it. You can see the plier head inside along with some of the other tools. Exterior, you only have the knife blade, tool lock here, button for the plier head, and the uh, bit holder. But no provisions for a belt clip. Here, you can see the belt clip on the wave. Going through it, it has four tools already on the outside which I'll cover in a little bit. Tool locks are visible. Belt clip is removable. However, for this video, I opted not to remove it. It's not too easy to remove, and two, it's easy to install. Going back to the Gerber, I'm gonna talk about their knife blade. Likewise, the Waves knife blade here also. The Gerber's knife blade is 3.25 inches. However, when I measured it, not quite, so not sure what they used as a measuring point, but it stayed at 3.25. Cutting edge is about three. Blade material, unknown. The waves blade length, 2.9 inches. Cutting edge is about 2.7, somewhere around there. Blade material is 420 HC stainless, heat treated. A liner lock. And prepping for the uh, flower head next. Likewise, the wave line of lock for, the, for its blade. Going back to the Gerber center drive, going to look at the flower head. Here, rotatable tungsten carbide wire cutter. That notch you see there, that's for the hard wire cutters. The straight edge is for regular wire. Moving up the jaw is the regular plier head and the needle nose portion. Moving on to the wave the plier head here. The uh, plier head and cutters are, are one piece. Right here is the hard wire cutter. There's regular wire cutters right here. Regular plier here. Cat crimper here and needle nose. Now, moving on to the serrated knife blade seen here on the Gerber center drive. And on the Leatherman Wave serrated knife blade seen here. Measurement of the blade on the center drive is 2.5 inches, depending upon how it's measured. And then it's a 2.25 cutting edge. On the wave, it's a 3 inch blade overall, seen here, with a 2.7 inch cutting edge. Seen here in this side by side comparison, quite obviously the wave's serrated knife is longer compared to the center drive. And this is based on pivot point to tip. The material used in the uh, Gerber center drive, likewise unknown. However, in the Leatherman wave, it's 420 high carbon stainless steel. Moving on to the next tool on the wave is the saw blade. This is a uh, integral part of the tool. Let me go ahead and put the uh, serrated knife blade away for the uh, center drive and has no saw blade. The overall length of the uh, saw blade is 3 inches with about a 2.5 inch cutting edge. Likewise this blade is 420 high carbon stainless steel.
Moving on to the next tool. This is the bit holder. That's a standard a number Q Phillip. Note the scribe line seen here. The scribe line goes all the way around. And I believe that is also the cut line. So they didn't do a very good job of cutting it square. Owe it to uh, workmanship. Removing the bit. It's a standard one quarter inch bit. Held in by a magnet. Seen here, silver base inside the hole there you'll see right here that is the magnet it does a great job of holding the bit in place moving to the wave open the tool up fold out the uh, bit holder seen here it locks out bits used in the uh, leatherman multi-tools are proprietary meaning that these bits are unique to the leatherman line of uh, multi-tools these are double-ended bits seen here held in by a little leaf spring in the bit holder. Right now, what you see here is a bit extension for the Leatherman, or in this case for the Wave. Right in here, there's a little ring ring clip which engages the little notches on the bits themselves. So pushed in, it's engaged, seen here. Using the standard bit, it also slips in, it engages, but watch this, it goes all the way in. Still usable, it's a little difficult to get out. In this case, I use the wave to try and pull it out, pull it out. Now what you don't see here is I attempted to put the Leatherman bit into the bit holder of the, of the uh, center drive. It doesn't fit at all. Right now, installing the bit extension into the wave to compare the uh, overall length and the uh, axis alignment. In one plane, it's offset, seen here. Turn to the edge side, seen here with the wave, the whole drive is in line with the center line of the body, as seen. Again, in line, this is the offset. On this image, you see it's in line with the center line of the body. The center drive, its bit holder, in this case, is center line to the broad side of its body, seen here, right down the middle. The narrow side, it's offset slightly, but fairly centered. Moving on to the next item. Seen here is the bit storage for the center drive. There's 12 bits in this carrier. Total of 14, two in the uh, center drive itself. The Leatherman Wave, 10, 10 spare, total of 20 different bits. One's missing on that card right now. So get those out of the way. Remove the bit extension. We install the bit into the bit holder. Fold it in. Moving on to the small bit holder shown here with the Phillips tip. I'm reversing it to show the flat blade. This bit is primarily for like eyeglasses. It's held in with a leaf spring shown here. And the center drive does not have this. Moving on to the next tool, the file, shown here on the wave. Moving over to the Gerber. Close the body, retract the plier head to lock the body. The Gerber file has a cross-cut course on one side and a single-cut fine. There is no cut on the edge of the file on both sides. Seen here, pointed out with the pin tip, nothing. Moving over to the wave, diamond coated fine file. This is a cross cut cork. On edge, difficult to see, but there is a diamond file there. Here, coarse edge file, and you can see the cuts along the edge. So you have a file on all four sides. Center drive file blade length is 2.625 or two and five eighths inches. 
And on the wave, just under three, about two and seven eight. Side by side, wave file appears longer. Then the plier head, open the body up, release the tool lock and fold the file in. I'll leave it open for now for the next tool. For the wave, push in the liner lock here and fold into the body. Proceed to open up the wave for the next tool. Moving on to the next tool in the center drive is the awl seen here. Retracting the fire head to lock the body. Now ready for use. The awl blade from the end of the body is about an inch and a quarter. There is no edge, sharp edge on the awl. However, it does have a very sharp tip. And by the way, the wave does not have an awl. Then the fire head. Release the tool lock, fold into the body, move into the bottle opener, locking the body up, moving over to the wave to pull out the bottle opener in this tool seen here. Fold the body up, ready for use. Moving back to the center drive, pointing out the bottle opener here up to here. That is pretty much the bottle opener. On the wave, the bottle opener extends here to here. That's it for the, the bottle opener. Following through, moving up, come to the pry bar and nail puller. Two items that the wave tool does not have. Moving back to the wave, blade for the can opener, piece right here, extends into the bottle opener. That is the entire can opener. Right here is the wire stripper, which the center drive does not have. The wire stripper and the can opener are not in the center drive. Go ahead and fold the can opener, bottle opener, wire stripper back into the body, release the lock. Likewise, moving on to the scissors, which the center drive does not have, seen here, and unfold. It has a small leaf spring to facilitate use. Very solid, somewhat small, but great for small work. Folds up flat, folds into the body like this. The next tool in the wave is a flat blade screwdriver, a 1.25 or quarter inch blade, which the center drive does not have, has its lock, release, fold into the body. Moving on to the net item, this is on the center drive. Right here, that's a spare bit holder, and that's non-magnetic. This is held in by a like, sheet metal spring. It just holds one single bit, a spare. In this case, it's a 732nd. Stores into the holder and folds up into the body. Seen here on the inside is the uh, ruler. That is the 8.3 centimeter ruler. Here is the 3 inch ruler. Moving over to the wave, we have a ruler. It's basically a eight inch ruler. Then you have a 19 centimeter ruler on the opposite side of the tool. It's very accessible. Moving on to the lanyard holes, seen here. This is the center drive formed by the tool lock. Plastic polymer piece. The tool lock is two parts. The plastic that you see here, that rivet holds that part to a metal shim on the inside. Whereas on the wave, seen here, it's built in and it's retractable. What holds it in place is the tool lock, seen here. And that pretty much covers the comparison between the two multi-tools. 
in my opinion, I don't believe one is superior over the other. One has certain tools which the other one does not have. I believe center drive is more for mechanics and technicians. Wave is primarily designed for general use, therefore would appeal to anyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check the description for more info. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment. More reviews coming, so please subscribe.